Diom Amazing Park has the best collection of thrill rides in Thailand. This collection includes a drop tower, log flume, two looping roller coasters, solid inverting flat rides, dizzying spinning rides, and a water slide that tries to throw you off of it. But which rides are my favorite? Find out as I rank the top 20 rides at Bangkok's Siam Amazing Park. I have not experienced Giant Drop, the intimate drop tower as it was closed on my most recent visit and broke down before I got to it on my first visit to the park. This is a shame as it would likely rank very high on this list. I have also not experienced Mega Dance as it was straight up closed on both my visits to the park. Number 20, Tagata Disco. My rides on this have always been alone, so I probably haven't gone into experience the full power of this ride. Riding without any restraint is a bit unnerving, though, as you're bounced around as it spins. With a fuller load, there's a lot more potential this ride could offer, but it stands as a rather basic spinning ride from what I've experienced. Number 19, Siam Lagoon. Having a collection of smaller family slides as well as cooling water sprays is just inviting, even for an adult. This area is basic and similar to many others in water parks around the world. But it is such a welcome sight on a hot Thailand afternoon. Number 18, Twin Dragon. This swinging ship does little, which given that the downward swings on some can really mess with my head, isn't particularly a terrible thing. However, I did get a small drop feeling on the apex of the swing sitting in the furthest back seat. Not much floating out of my seat, but a little drop feeling. Number 17, Takeoff. This spinning ride rotates at a rather rhythmic rate, so you won't be thrown around too wildly, though it has a long enough cycle that you can come off a bit dizzy, especially since you'll be riding in the hot sun. The other forces and such on this ride, though, weren't super memorable. Number 16, Brake Dance. I couldn't get my car to spin too wildly, so it will be more rhythmic rocking as you spin around and around and around. Enclosing this to keep it out of the sun is a nice touch and certainly helped me from getting too dizzy with the glare of the sun. This is a solid spinning ride that offers mild forces while not being too dizzying of one of these types of rides out there. Number 15, Monster. These are normally one of my favorite spinning rides as they offer a nice mix of forces in spinning while also allowing riders to go up and down. And more importantly, they're not too crazy as to get you too dizzy. Monster runs a solid cycle with a mix of different forces to help keep things interesting, as these rides should. Honestly, this ride could likely rank much higher, but I think I'm still scared of a similar but slightly different spider that I rode at the Fort Bend County Fair. Number 14, Super Spiral. These four body slides would play great as tube slides, but alas, we're left with them as is, which can hurt my back a little bit but the walk back up the stairs from the landing pool isn't too long, and they look great as a mix of intertwining slides. Slides A and D are their biggest, with A offering turns before larger drops to give you speed, and D giving you the drops and speed first before slamming you into the turns. Number 13, Jurassic Adventure. Sure, this ride is dated. But there's something about getting on a Jeep to drive around and look at old animatronic dinosaurs that is just awesome. Like, this is what seeing real dinosaurs is supposed to be like, right? Number 12, Big Double Shock. Walk through animatronic family haunted houses is totally a thing in China. And like most of them, this one is enjoyable. 
some of the different sets were turned off when I walked through, which made things extra creepy, as it was really dark in there at a few points. Though, the actual exhibits themselves are a bit creepy, but nothing meant to really scare you unless they accidentally catch you off guard. Number 11. Double Deck Merry-Go-Round I enjoy merry-go-rounds as classic rides, and this offered a little jerking on my experience, which was a fun and added element. But the main reason for this ranking so high is its iconic placement at the front of the park. It just looks too beautiful sitting there greeting you. How could you not want to ride this ride? Number 10. Wave Pool Setting the Guinness World Record for size in 2008, this wave pool is massive. It offers two separate beach fronts along its shores. Its waves weren't too strong when I was there, but the sound of waves washing up against the shore is just such a nice touch for any area. Swimming out into the deep middle section really had me going a bit too, as you can really get an overwhelming sense of just how massive this pool is. Though my favorite area of this pool is the small section to the side that contains the nice rock walls with waterfalls, as this is an area that you can really relax in. Number 9. Siam Tower Per the park, this is the tallest observation tower in Southeast Asia. As a nice, gentle family ride, you can go up and get great views of the park and surrounding areas. The surrounding areas, however, aren't much to look at, but it is really nice just being able to get up high and get great general views of Thailand, Bangkok, and Siam Amazing Park. Number 8. Condor this rare flat ride offers a bit of free swinging at the start that really got my fear of heights going until I got about halfway up. Then for some reason, my brain kicked in that I was too high and that I shouldn't be worried about how high I was. As a basic spinning ride, this doesn't offer much special in terms of forces. It's just a unique ride that you're not going to see at too many other parks nowadays. Number 7. Enterprise. This ride was surprisingly enjoyable as I could spread myself out to help reduce any negative impacts the strong positive G's, i.e. being pushed downwards into my seat, caused on my body. This allowed me to enjoy the various forces of this ride, including some swinging towards the start and a bit of hang time over the top of the inversion. Number 6. Rock and Roll This flat ride has free spinning gondolas that wouldn't even lock during the loading process. Then, your gondola's arm will go over a tire track to help start you off flipping. If you have a more balanced car with two people, you will likely continue to flip for the rest of the rotation until this track helps you start flipping again. I rode by myself. So the flipping did stop about halfway around the track on some of my laps, but only having a rope belt holding me in a very open gondola was an unnerving experience. Though, since I started flipping so much, I really didn't have time to think about the lack of restraints. Number five, boomerang. This is the best boomerang that I've been on since I can normally enjoy its drop in various inversions without being beat up too much. It's still not a great coaster, as going backwards like this hurts a bit too much to be truly special. But I can appreciate its drops and how beautiful this layout really is. Number 4. Speed Slide The third hill on the larger of these slides is crazy as you will be visibly thrown from the slide as you're given airtime over it. The long walk back up to the top though does make rewriting it a bit of a pain, 
but it is a truly enjoyable and unnerving experience. Just make sure not to panic too much as moving your body out of position to try and brace yourself on that third hill will likely cause you pain as you'll come down as not designed. Number three, log flip. This is a solid log flip that has a reverse section and a double down drop that offers a nice mix between thrills while offering a light misting for those riding this flume. Though there is some theming along the course, including the nice tiger heads that surround the top of the largest hill, some of the scenery is old or just not the most immersive. But as a thrill ride, it still delivers an enjoyable experience for the genre. Number two, Ranger. The first half of this ride cycle offers absolutely insane hang time, as you just have your strong lap bar holding you in, leaving your whole upper body free to grapple with how you're just hanging there. Hang time, while towards the side and at the top apex, feel similar. So working your way up to going full circle is a truly enjoyable process. The few quicker rotations towards the end of the cycle offer minor positive Gs on the downward swings, but the lack of 10 or 20 seconds of hang time makes me wonder why that part of the cycle is even necessary to begin with. For fans of hang time, this ride is a must. And since you're enclosed in the case of the swinging ship, you really can't see much outside of the ride to make you scared. Number one, Vortex. Many will criticize SLCs over Coma's suspended looping coasters as being rough and unenjoyable. Personally, I really like Vortex. It is a decent drop, not too forceful of inversions, a nice rattle that helps give it character, and enough breaks in the action for me to truly enjoy the inverted position. Just ride defensively with your head forwards because of their strengths and watch out for the double inline twists and that final helix as these are the most intense parts. I also love this ride's brake run. Like, it's probably one of my favorite brake runs out there. No joke. 10 points if you get to kick a flower or grass on your way back to the station. Which rides are your favorite at Silent Amazing Park? Are these coasters enjoyable or are there better rides out there? Have you gone in to ride any of the defunct rides or coasters? Let me know. And as always, Cup Coon Crap. <laughs>